on how we want to play, not who we want to be. And then to do with the preparation or the effort or them as people and them as players. They're also an amazing group. Just, just bad to lose, bad to lose like that. How did, how did we take you out of your game? Um, well, one, I thought they played really well. I mean, number 12 is, uh, she's really good and she's really good at what she does and puts a lot of pressure on our team and makes us feel uncomfortable. I thought that we had three days to prepare for them and I thought our girls did a great job getting ready for them. So you don't see, you don't see a two in the middle, so to speak, and, and somebody with that kind of electric arm, it's pretty tough to learn, but I thought we did a good job. And you know, my results are like, do we have three up, two up, and we were in a good spot? Yeah. Did she go make a great hit? Yeah. Right. So from our standpoint, I thought that we, we did everything that the, the girls did everything that we've asked them to do to get ready for this match. And, and the problem with that is like, then you feel like you're chasing everybody else. So it's, it's pretty tough. But um, I, give, I give their team a lot of credit. They, they dug a, little, a lot better than we thought they were going to dig. And, and then their serve, mixing up their serve, short, deep, shallow, deep. Um, again, they did a good job of making us feel uncomfortable. And that's what good teams do. What would you need to do in order to stand in toe to toe time? Because it yeah. feels like you stand in a little bit. A little bit, and yeah. Then, and then you blink and you're down six. I, honestly, I, I think it's just being battle tested. You know, the, the, their, their gauntlet that they had to go through to get here is much tougher than ours. And they get tested and they get challenged and they learn a lot more throughout the year than, than I think we, we do. Or, or need to, and I think that's always been a, a little bit of a problem since I've been at MIDI. It's, um, I, I feel like we do a good job in our region, in our area, um, to be the best, and you know, this year we, we won nine straight matches, nine straight sets, and played really good volleyball, and then come here and it's a, different, it's a different animal we have to deal with, and I think that if we played them more times, or at that level more times during the year, we would be, this group in particular, their ability to learn and adapt would we be much better, much more prepared for it. Coach, being able to uh, to bounce back after the, uh, after the section, just uh, what does it say about just you know the resilience and you know and the maturity of this of this group uh, to be able to reach this point? Yeah, you know, in my in, I think I've been there four years, and this by far, I mean, like by far, honestly, has been my favorite group. Um, because of so many things, and we were without players um, all year long, and the girls that were on the court did an amazing job, and when the girls came back, every single one of them to a person gave the team first, and if it was their spot or this and that, they, they were all in to win, and this group is by far the tightest group. They get along the best, um, and it's been just, you know, joy. Our practices, like, I come out to practice and they're all excited to work, to play knockout or doing something. I'm like, okay, hey, all right, this is awesome. It's, it's a special group. And, and uh, you know, from a coaching standpoint too, they, they, look at us, they look at us in the eye and they do what we ask them to do. They're great. Coach, how difficult is it to come a couple of years, two years in a row, and put three out of four or whatever it is, and, and just not be able to capture the prize? <laughs> am I allowed to do that honestly, or do I have to like, you know, watch my words a little bit? Yeah, you know, it, it's, like I, honest, I mean, to be honest, with you, it is, it sucks. It honestly sucks. And, and these girls know it, like, what our first meeting is about this. It's about this day. And, um, you know, kind of after every year one, I wrote on the board, I said 25-5. SC25. SC25. Yeah. What did I say? SC25. Yeah. We lost to a great Carrie Klein team at Marymount with Elliot Rubin on it, 25-5. And I was like, <laughs> my phone started blowing up like, hey, that's so big, you know, like whatever. I'm like, yeah, we wore that, but we wore it the whole next year to get back and be here. So it's hard. We put a lot of work in this group. It's a lot of work in it. We talk about a championship almost every day and championship like character and habits that we need to have to be here and they they have them all and i think we begin going back to john's question just getting tested a little bit for more along the way would help us for sure but yeah short answer it's terrible hate it good question though <laughs> uh casey uh, talk about what you saw out there